These rings are attached to the four pa'am, or feet of the ark. The word indicates a strike, as if the steps of a foot. These four feet, then, are the Gospels themselves. They are the written record of the work of Christ from which the message of him is derived. These Gospels represent Christ the King in Matthew, Christ the Servant in Mark, Christ the Son of Man in Luke, and Christ the Son of God in John, as depicted in those four Gospels. The poles of the ark, or bod, are that on which the ark rests as they carry the ark. The number two in the Bible indicates that there is a difference in things. They contrast and yet they confirm. There is day and there is night. They contrast and yet they confirm the duration of an entire day. There is salvation and there is condemnation. They contrast and yet they confirm the end for all men. The word bod means alone. There are two poles which together support one ark. The ark pictures Christ, and thus they are the two testaments which present the work of Christ. They are what makes Christ mobile to the world as the world carries him, each contrasting the law and grace, but each supporting the whole and confirming the message of him. And each is made of the same materials, shittim wood and gold. Together they proclaim the dual nature of the coming Messiah and of the Messiah who has come. He is the God-man. As the four Gospels are the transition from the old to the new, it is the four rings attached to the four feet to which the two testaments are affixed. They are a seal of his rule. As Christ is the king, the carrying of the ark on the poles pictures the palanquin which a king would have been carried around in. He is the king depicted in the four Gospels which are tied to the two testaments of the Bible. The Bible is explicit that the poles were not to be removed from the ark. Should either or both testaments of the Bible be removed, we would not have a proper presentation of who Christ is. Without one or the other, we would have a faulty view of him, and without either, we would have no knowledge of him at all. So this answers Jim's question from the Bible class a week and a half ago. He asked, I don't understand how people can do without the Old Testament. He said, people that just stick to the New Testament miss everything. Well, now you know why. It's because if you try to pick up the ark with one pole, you've got a faulty carrying of the ark. You have to have both Testaments, which are joined together at the four Gospels, which reveal Christ in both directions. You see the, the significance of that now? It's amazing, isn't it? This is why Paul says in 2 Timothy, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Well, guess what? He wrote that when there was only one testament. He was writing the other testament at that time, along with the other apostles. And so you see that we cannot carry an ark and transmit the message of Christ without both testaments. During a Bible study about three or four weeks ago, our precious Mabel back there, she asked me, what do these poles represent? Well, there's your answer, right? After the